Okay, I just want to give a quick update and give you a quick view of the market. So, first of all, you I have discussed a lot of things on Telegram, but you know, doing a YouTube video will make things very concrete. First of all, you know, you see how yesterday exiting position at a small loss saved us from a very big loss today. That is why I always say cut your losses short. Whenever you have only hope to sit on to in a trade, always get out of the market, come the next day with a fresh view and dominate that. I'm very happy to see my traders how they have done today and I've uploaded everything on Instagram. But going forward, you have to understand one thing now, Nifty for example, or let me start with ICICI Bank for example. If you look at a daily chart of ICICI Bank, you can clearly see what a double bottom is and how the markets have shown you a reversal of trend signal. So the market that was in a short term downtrend has now reversed. This is a signal of strength in the market. And this is what I've been saying again and again, that unless until you're getting a double top on your Nifty chart, Nifty Bank chart, you cannot go short. Please understand that because currently the banks, majority of the banks are sitting in very good gains and all the banks sitting at highs. So if all the banks are sitting at highs, if HDFC sitting at highs, if Reliance is doing well, if the Bajaj twins are doing well, all the heavyweights of Nifty, Nifty Bank are doing well. Why would you short the market? So overall, you have to understand we are in a buy on dip scenario. And as I speak, you can see how ICICI Bank keeps on scalping new highs. So every dip that is coming into the market, we have to look for reasons to buy on that dip. If you do not get intraday dips to buy, please use positional dips to get into equity, which I will discuss right now. Secondly, what I want to say is that please have a clear mindset before you go into the market. A lot of people must have missed buying equity for your long-term portfolios. I do not want you all to buy equity over here because we have bought somewhere over here at lower levels. What I am trying to say to you is now the markets have given you a good run-up. So for example, look at the charts of Nifty. It's around 872 and you can see that the last swing high or the last pullback high has been broken. So Nifty has become stronger now, but still you have a lower low. A, a higher low has still to be established. What I am saying is that now for whatever reason, this is an early signal of strength. For whatever reason, if a dip comes into the market, whether it is COVID, inflation, Omicron, lockdowns, curfews, whatever it is, you have to be very precise about them. What I am saying is that whenever these dips are coming in the market or whenever a top is made in the market or a short term top is made in the market, I want you all to put your Fibonacci retracements and try to observe till what level on a daily chart can a dip come in. Because now what the market needs is a higher low. If we have got a higher high, we need a higher low. Once the higher low is established, the market will become concrete and it will become a pure biotech market going forward because the market discounts all events. So whether COVID is happening right now, markets have already discounted it in this last two month fall. So this is what I'm trying to say. So then what you have to do is when the market starts to dip, whenever it is, whether it is this high or it is this high or it is this high, I don't know what the high is, but whatever is the high of the market, and when the market starts to dip from there, I do not want you all to be aggressively involved with the shots. Intraday short karna, scalp karna, totally fine. But do not be in a positional short because every single day market is showing strength. And secondly, whenever you have more than four green candles in a row, that is also signaling strength as per CAN's rules, the rule of three down days. So I want you all to remember all these points in your mind. Jiska equity miss ho gaya hai. Abhi excited hoker, please do not chase the market. Jab bhi dip aega, Fibonacci lagao. For example, Marlo today's Nifty highs made. Aap yaan Fibonacci retracement lagalo and try to buy equity at 23.6, 33, 50%. Whenever these dips come in. So one thing you have to observe is that when this dip comes in, the higher on the Fibonacci it stops, the stronger is the market. The lower on the Fibonacci it stops, the weaker is the market. That is another fundamental point you have to learn because abhi market mein strength chal raha hai. So it is it is likely that pullback nahi karega. Thoda pullback karega, but anyone who has missed this rally because of FOMO, they will again get on board. So overall, this is the idea that I want to give you. Same thing for Bank Nifty. Nifty has been extremely strong, and in the last couple of days, Bank Nifty has been the one who's strong. But Bank Nifty still hasn't been able to give you a higher high on the chart. So you have to observe these things. Is this going to be a good high of Bank Nifty? If it is, there is still no problem. When this dip is coming in, put your Fibonacci's and because higher, high, higher low needs to be established. And once these highs start to break, even Bank Nifty becomes quite aggressive for your medium and long term. 
So please remember these things. The reason I'm doing this video is to explain to all of you that it is important you keep a peace of mind. We have a small loss in the market. In the market, when you trade, if you take 10 trades, 4 or 5 will be, will be in a loss. It's obvious. It's always going to be there. But the most important part is how much money do you make when you're right? How much money do you lose when you're wrong? Do not forget that point of point that I'm trying to make. And lastly, if you go on an intraday chart of Nifty, 15 minute chart also Nifty, why I keep on saying double top banne do, double top banne do is because of this. If you're observing the very day since that I gave that building example, ki longer consolidation means longer building erected. You can see from that very day itself, we have never been able to form a double top. So for example, market was never able to go below these lows. If you look at this example, so you can see continuously higher highs and higher lows are being maintained. Same thing over here, markets did, they did try to give you a double top, but it was never confirmed. You never went below these lows. Same thing even today, market gave you this low, again gave you a higher low, it's again on the higher side. So unless until market is giving you some kind of double top and then breaking this double top, you cannot consider of going short. I do not want you to look at the yeah, 10 point market did here, now high went to short. Karte. No, if market to short the market, give a reversal. If you do a 15 minute chart, ka reversal will not be bigger than a But on a 1 hour chart, it will be a bigger a double top that can give you a bigger retracement towards the Fibonacci level. But any 15 minute level is a good level for intraday double top. But I just want to request you all to keep on going with the flow. If you aren't able to get the entry, it's not your job to go counter trend just because you're not able to get an entry. So these are all my updates. I hope that I have been able to get your mindset right. Enjoy your gains that you're getting in uh, Nifty Nifty Bank on the bio dip stand that we talked about yesterday. Now you will understand how much important it was to get out of here. If you don't get out of here, it's a lot of And secondly, I hope you, you're enjoying a lot of gains on your equity portfolio in that special. Thank you so much guys. Cheers.